Hi, everybody. I will have a word with those folks from PowerPoint when I get to the office tomorrow morning. I am a software engineer at Azure Search, uh, and tonight I'll be scoping my talk specifically to Search because Azure is a big LAN and there's too much to talk about. So search is a primary navigation mode. You know, basically you have browse and you have search, and oftentimes those are both served by the same backends. Uh, whether you're stalking your friends on Facebook or trying to find the best fish tacos, uh, chances are you're using search. And up to 83% of navigation in e-commerce scenarios occurs through search. Uh, this makes or breaks things like conversions, return visits, and engagement. So search is incredibly important. And user expectations are very high thanks to these big guys like you know Bing for some people and Google and Yahoo, right? Uh, the average search engine user issues over five queries a day, uh, and the expectations are high because these results are fast and high quality. But this can be extremely expensive. Uh, Bing cost Microsoft over five billion in the first two years, uh, and although application search and web search uh, are two very different things. The premise still holds that search engineers are expensive and you can throw almost an infinite amount of money at this problem. And there are lots of open source solutions. You want to add search to your mobile application, you can use something like Elastic or Solar. Uh, and the learning curve is very steep, but it's very easy to get started. These are great solutions that have lots of documentation, great communities, lots of conferences. Um, but the problem is, if you're not a search engine expert at the beginning, you definitely will be at the end. And then you have to deal with things like this. Infrastructure, you know, geo-redundancy, high availability, figuring things like this out. And the engineer in me looks at this and smiles a little bit and gets excited. But I know that at a startup, anything that distracts you from your customers is a burden. And even if you decide to go down this route, you got to deal with the DevOps. Someone's going to wake up at 3 a.m. when a query puts this cluster on the floor. You've got to debug heap utilization issues and all sorts of other things you'd rather be doing while you're sleeping. That's why we tried to build Azure Search. We know that building software is hard. And from our startup roots, we know that building a startup is even tougher. We actually came from Techstars ourselves. So we built a fully managed search as a service solution that. Uh, provide search for your web and mobile applications with high availability, high availability and all the nines that you can handle. And we've provided some awesome features too, such as UI to easily import your databases directly from Azure and other places uh, without providing, it, providing any configuration. So you simply select your database from a dropdown and your application is searchable. Easy as that. And we have the full power of Bing and uh, Microsoft Office NLP stack so that you can index your content and make it searchable in over 50 different languages. And one of our biggest problems that we noticed was even with all of these awesome features, not all of our users were taking advantage of it. And that's really tough. Uh, and, and we found that one of the reasons was, uh, was that building good search UI is really tough. Uh, and if you don't have the time or the resources to build UI to support these awesome backend features, it doesn't matter that they're easily available in this service. So we have been working on a JavaScript library to provide state-of-the-art uh, UI, uh, and, and it basically requires only CSS and a little bit of configuration, and we handle the rest. Uh, and I'm happy to say we're going to be open sourcing this uh, later next month, and we're really excited about that. But like I said, we came from startup roots. We actually went through Techstars. Uh, so you know, we, we feel the pain. What did we learn when we in, went through Techstars? <laughs> So we spent a lot of time on the phone. We uh, made phone calls every day for weeks because we know that as a startup, you have to know your space, you have to know your problem, and you have to know your customer. And even after going back to Microsoft, we've lived with scarcity as a feature. We believe that scarcity is something that forces you to make good decisions, decisions based off of data and not opinions. And I know you're all probably looking at me and thinking, man, a startup at Microsoft, that sounds pretty cushy. So, you know, most, most things are actually the same, you know. We, we, we abide by the same set of principles, uh, you know, failing fast, empowering people to, to have ownership and be excited about the work that they're doing. The same set of guiding principles apply here. But there are a lot of things that are very different, you know. 
We have the Microsoft band backing us, backing us the Azure band backing, backing us. Um, we never had to do things like become accountants uh, or marketers. We had all of that taken care of for us. But at the end of the day, the risk equation was very different. Uh, if, if Azure Search happens to become the next SQL server, uh, none of us will be getting rich. So. And uh, that's, that's me. I'm Evan Boyle. That was my story with Azure Search. So, Questions? <laughs> Yes. How does it feel like uh, working at Microsoft Startup? Does it feel like a startup? Does the feel feel like a lot of startup? Yeah. So yeah, there, there's a lot of you know there, there's a lot of interesting emotions going on there. You know, like uh, uh, we're we're fighting there, we're struggling, and we celebrate our success. Where you know we oh man, we sold ten thousand dollars this month. Uh, you know, and we, we tell that to our EVP Scott Guthrie, and then you know uh, someone from from someone from SQL Azure laughs at us and says, "Wait till you're making a million a month." <laughs> so yeah, sometimes uh, sometimes the victories are, are a little harder to uh, to celebrate. You know, when you got Big Brother <laughs> to look up to. <laughs> Log files. So this is specifically content oriented search. So this is e-commerce, application search, navig uh, faceted navigation. We don't target the log analytics scenario because that's more, more of a high, high throughput, low recall. It's a different scenario. All right. Well, thank you very much. Oh, one more? General cost. General cost? So, oh. Well, uh, for everyone here at New Tech Seattle tonight, you can go home and sign up for uh, free service that allows you to index up to 10,000 documents, uh, and it's actually available to everybody. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, we have a free tier up to 10,000 documents, and then we have a, a kind of a startup-friendly tier at 75 bucks a month, and it, it goes up from there. So we can we can support all sorts of, of different loads. Yeah. How's it work? Uh, you have a SQL database, uh, and you can use our our UI and step through a little wizard. And and yeah, yeah, it's 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 you know it lives in the cloud. You you provision it and uh, and and point your database at it, and we we index the whole thing, and have a schedule running to keep that up to date. And then you can you can hit that thing and and make searches against it, uh, and and use that to power UI within your website. And then on top of that, being able to build custom UI, we've also started building UI for you, so you can take our UI that we've built with best practices and and take advantage of that. Mm, uh, you, might, you might have to hire somebody, but does, you don't have to be a search engine expert. Yes? So, so that, I would say that's a, that's a double-edged sword. So this, this is fully managed, fully hosted inside of Azure. Um, and and you know the, you, you do have more control when you deploy on prem and you have more control over security and things like that. Uh, but you also have to worry about doing OS updates, you know migrations, things like that. We take care of everything for you. Uh, and and our notion of availability is there's there's a slider and you pay X dollars and you, we'll never wake you up. Uh, your, your service will will be there. It'll be searchable, and we, we guarantee that. So there is no on-prem, no, no, but, yeah. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Thank you.